Hello everyone, it is day eight and I am working with Hannah and Emma, but Emma's currently elsewhere. And we are basically working on our final projects. I said yesterday that we we're gonna be doing something involving the Lorax, but we changed our mind. And actually we're going to be doing basically like a 3D world with sort of the Little Mermaid meets information about climate change. So I just wrote this entire storyline about like what we want the script to do and like say and everything like that. So the whole point is to like show you like navigate through the ocean like with Ariel and then have Ariel just like teach you about the importance of climate change and why we should be protecting things like the Great Barrier Reef and just providing all this info. So I'm here researching, they're here coding and then the next hour we're all gonna code together and like come up with like the fight. Yeah, so basically what we've done so far is that we've like had this code right here which essentially just like sets up the scene which is like an ocean and then you can see if we run it, it looks something like this. Yeah. So you have all these sparkles and like the water. So the whole point is we wanted to have like a click through storyline so that way like when you have the, cause you're using like the VR headsets with this so you could just like click through and it'll take you to each part so we're just testing different things out so we're all working on different things at the moment but I just wanted to show you guys like the very 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 basic part of it so that way at the very end you could see the finished product so this is us taking you along on our two-day journey to make this happen <laughs> I knew it that face you're like oh I'm sorry I knew it. Well, yeah. she's filming me and she went like this like really fast It's going to need people who can build products that you guys are focused on, but also the leadership in the community and the teamwork that you're building in this classroom, you get to apply it anywhere. And they can speak to that experience in the workplace. Um, so I'll go ahead and shut up now because you've heard so much from me. Hey guys, um, my name is Christina Stolbar. I obviously work for at and um, I'm so excited to be in this classroom where you guys are level two and you're doing front end development. Well, I actually run an app and a website where we are every day working on the front end aspect of it. So I don't code, which I could and did, and potentially may learn down the road, but I actually help with the design and the product aspect. My name is Mary. So, quick poll, how many of you guys actually watch a video on your phone? Is it going to be 100%? <laughs> Alright, perfect. So, I work on one of at and newest startups. It's called DirecTV Now. Um, I will absolutely show you guys some demos on my phone when I come to your tables. It's one of the coolest jobs ever. Um, hey, I'm Karen. Uh, I lead a department called Creator Lab for at and and um, that is because we are turning into a media and entertainment company, and we need to work with creators and have them understand how cool these products that um, at and wide range of engineers and smart people are building. So, um, you know, there are a lot of people in this space now, uh, primarily because you guys, I think, um, my theory is started watching TV on little screens on the back of your mom's minivan, and so that like got you really used to watching uh, content on small screens, because in my day it was all about like putting it on the biggest screen possible. Um, but now because people are watching media on um, tablets and laptops and phones, We've changed our entire business model and <laughs> Oh, cute. Cute enough. <laughs> Ew, gross. Wait, I 